Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back. So we're back for episode number 14 of Neverwinter. Alright, so I just did my character build. I'll show you right quick uh, what I put my points on. So I put a point on Cloud of Steel and Sly Flourish. So I guess these are attacks that I'm currently using at the moment, so it kind of goes good. Then my feats, I added two into this one right here, into toughness. Increase your maximum hit points. So that's on our way to doing this and I was checking it out so we're gonna do some things underneath the scandal paragon and a few things underneath the executioner paragon so looking forward to these unlocking them so um, yeah let's give her so now we're gonna choose our next quest which we're gonna get into now here so we don't want this forming of the guild stuff so uh, where is this taking us to all right, so let's stick with our kind of like level. We'll go with, uh, oops, I didn't want to hit that one. It's Y, draw the path to that one. All right, so there we go. Uh, I did not go and read the stuff that's up here, so we'll do that right quick. I'm assuming maybe this could have helped me before I did that quest. Oh, yes. I think some of it was available before you did the, uh, I'm not quite sure. But, yeah, I thought there was more than just that one there. But I don't know if that goes to a quest or not, that copying that thing. Hey. Oops, wrong button. It's that to jump. All right. We got it. We got it. All right. Let me leave the shop. Please, let me leave the shop. There you go. thought I was stuck here forever. That would have, like, really sucked. <laughs> All right, so let's go find out what this quest is all about. I um, have no idea. <laughs> I did not read it. <laughs> because usually I just don't read crap. I just kind of wing it, go through it. Um, what do you mean I can't do that? Sure, I can. So where is my little glittery thing? It's behind me up this way. All righty. So it looks like we're going to go have to talk to someone. And this one's called the... An eminent guest at the Jubilee. All right. Sounds pretty awesome. Sounds pretty awesome. Now, where are we going from here? Down this way. All right. Oof. I don't know why I lost that all of a sudden. It was just really weird. Seeing it was going one way and then all of a sudden stopped. Okay, so this is where we're going. All right. So let's talk to this guy. Why is everybody Hero around us? Go forth and take up. Good day, friend. Well met. I've heard tales of your adventures in my own travels. Oh, Looks like I Gandalf. Let tell you who I am, shouldn't I? <laughs> Gandalf the Grey. I am called Elminster. I've come to this fair city for the grand anniversary celebration, but find myself in need of aid from capable adventurers such as yourself. All right. What more can I do for you, my friend? Oh, these look like a bunch of dailies. Um. Wow. All right, do we get into all of this? <laughs> all right, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Every year, Lord Neverember takes it upon himself to deliver an address to the people of the city, and ev all right. So let's go do this. We'll just do one at a time here, and we'll uh, we'll get this going. All right. So I want to go back to my journal. Um, this one right here. Draw a path. There's no path line. Oh. Yeah, they only show you who you get to cash into. Alright, so let's read on it. Alright. Uh, help protect the city during Lord... Da, da, da. And... Where is the speech being held? Me and Menu will go to queues in the protector's speech. Okay, so we have to go to a queue. Alright. See, it always helps to read, always helps to read. So the protector's speech. Let's queue ourselves there. There. So now we should be queued in. As far as I know, that's how that works. So now we just kind of wait. So if it does take... Oh, there we go. Let's... Sometimes things take a while and sometimes things don't. So, and I think the last time I joined a dungeon, the exact same thing happened. So let's check this out and see how this goes. I'm really, like, curious. I've never done uh, any of these things before, so I think this guy is new, so that's kind of cool, man. 
I get new things to do. So it's kind of encouraging. Um, yeah. All right. So someone's giving a speech, and we got to protect his ass. Ah, sounds fair. I think we can do this, right? All right. And I'm with other people, so... Talk Lord Neverember is about to deliver his anniversary speech. I don't want to leave him exposed to danger. Heroes, it means many of our massive forces will be busy trying to protect him. Bringing siege and discord to protect his way. As trusted heroes of Neverwinter. And head off this attack. I'm calling on your aid to protect the city against all threats which may appear. When new threats appear, I'll send you warning. Thanks to Makos' magic. The faster you do, Hail people of the better your rewards will be. On this day, I strongly the suggest you take a moment to celebrate to prepare yourselves to coordinate your party before I speaking. Greet you. Let me know when you're ready. Open Lord of Waterdeep and Protector of Neverwinter. I did. I'm glad to see all of you here to celebrate our city's return. I see in this crowd people of all walks of life from all across the world. No refugees. Okay. That was interesting. Whether you're newly arrived or not, these guys are like level 60. Really? Heroes, this is Sergeant Knox. Ready know. yourselves. Another force you is preparing to attack and protect his own way. Alrighty. Where? It was nearly 30 years ago when word reached Where's the next attack? Nearly destroyed. Okay, okay perfect. The auction house, even blocking the force of the Moonstone Mask. There we go. Then save the Moonstone Mask. And feared for our friends and family. Oh, this is pretty neat. At least these guys know where they're going. <laughs> I think they're a higher level than I am, too, so that doesn't really help. Let's try to help dispatch. Do my little part. <laughs> oh my god, this is horrible. Oh well, daily missions. Alright, so this is pretty much all... I'm assuming these are going to be dailies because dailies are usually blue, aren't they? If I'm not mistaken. Hey, everybody's way over here. The enemies have never winter, never rest. We believe another attack is imminent. Prepare yourself. All right. I knew the task of rebuilding the city would not be easily done. For the cataclysm had struck. These people seem to. The Florian witches have building. appeared in the courtyard oh. and are planning to curse the city. Disrupt their cause. The cancel this curse before it begins. Said Neverwinter was dead. And the restoration. All right. That wasn't too hard. <laughs> uh, is there anybody else around? Those they're all dead. Oh, they're over here. And yet, in this so there was more. Oh, these guys must be like seriously high level. <clears throat> oh yeah, they're like all level 60. Just going around like just destroying everything. I'm not even getting a hit. <laughs> oh well, it'll be easy, easy pickings. Wow, look at that. They just walked over and to <laughs> spit at them. Oh, it's too funny. Alright, so there's nobody over here. Oh, over here. My god. They really make you run around a lot for this stuff, eh? Oh, it's down here. Right behind me. And they already dispatched it. <laughs> I should almost like stand still and not even bloody move. Uh, it's too funny big gelatin thing. I feel like I'm running around in circles because I am. I'm not exactly sure where to go here. All these people are going up here. Hey. That's incredible. Heroes of your caliber, I almost feel like I could retire. But citizens of Neverwinter know that. Scoreboard. You have truly yeah, I don't want to see my score. I was probably like way at the bottom. Let's check it out. See? <laughs> Alright, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? What's going on? Alright, dismiss. 
decline. Sorry. I just want to do this and leave. Nor when the undead were at our gates, we did not yield. When the horrors poured forth, I get all this stuff or what? Or do I choose something? Congratulations, adventurer. Oh, I gained all that stuff. Oh wow, that's pretty awesome. Oh. And I guess we're done that one. Hmm, that's pretty cool. So I'm assuming these are daily quests. Ah, wow. I don't know if we should continue doing those. <clears throat> that was 10 minutes. That took 10 minutes to complete of running around and doing that. So, hmm. I don't know if we're going to really get into all these new daily things. But it is giving us new stuff though. So can we complain about that? No, not really. I think... Uh, I think this is kind of a good thing. So maybe like it's just gonna be this. This game is like a very slow progression game. Um, I I do want to stick to like all like the the storyline stuff, but at the same time too, like if well you know if they do become dailies or whatever, well then it's not I so hope bad, the right? Speech wasn't too long. All right, so I guess we'll do one more and then we'll call it an episode. Uh, diplomacy we were expecting death. a diplomatic courier. Accept. All right, so uh, let's just go over here for a second and check what we got. Because I'm sure we did get a few things out of that, right? I really got to visit. Oh, look at all this stuff. I am so full. All right, so this I should actually equip it, right? There we go. Um... And these things here are used for other stuff. Recommended. Recovery, I'd lose my lifesteal. Alright, so I'm gonna go um, go sell, go through all this stuff, sell it, what I need to sell, and then I'll be... Hello everybody, Bert Duck Guy here, and we're back. Alright, so, um, I went through my inventory and all that good stuff, and I separated all these gems and... I was starting to refine them just to, you know, remember how all this refining stuff works. And when I got to the level up part where I got it to, you know, to level up and you get like an 85% chance to level up, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, you need these, um, <laughs> these, uh, marks of potency and wards. As far as I know, wards are only sold through the store. So you would have to do the astral diamond exchange thing and sell your astral diamonds for, um, for like the the in-game money, and then you would uh, these. I'm not exactly sure where to get. I think you can buy them uh, from a vendor or something like that. But I'll have to look into that some more. So the whole purpose of me like going through this and all that crap. Um, is because we got that artifact right so if we go to our character we can go here um, onto this artifact and we can level it up through refinement now by doing this uh, it becomes stronger right and you're gonna get different weapons and all kinds of stuff but right now there's a double refinement Thing going on right now so everything I do is work double so the things that you're supposed to plop on here are these gray ones if I'm not mistaken and these uh, everything else you're supposed to kind of save for like these ones are for like spells and these ones are for your ones with the symbols on it or for your companions okay um, so it depends on like if you want to keep them or not but what I've been doing and I did my other game as well is because it costs like money to upgrade all of these what I've been doing is I've just been throwing them all onto my <laughs> all onto my artifact and I've been saying like screw the upgrades because I'm not at that point in the game where I'm gonna be farming like astral diamonds and crap like that so we got like a long way to go so I figure by doing this we should be okay um, as far as I can gather so we just come in here and oh what the heck did I just do there fill next empty slot Oops. oh yeah if we go back here do it on the next one uh, two and then 
Oh, I skipped one, but it doesn't matter. So, you can see these are the amount of points that we're getting, so we hit X to refine. And then it brought us up all the way up there. So, now we do that all over again. So, seven. I wish there was, like, an auto-fill slot, which would be nice. But there's just, like, that. Which is dumb. But, whatever. It's all good. We'll just do this and see how far we get, anyways. Uh, like, some are worth more than others. So, like, I don't know how worthwhile all this is doing. and So, I'm not going to, like, break my head over the whole Astral Diamond thing just yet. <clears throat> and whether this is like a good thing to do or not, I really don't know, but I'm doing it and because it frees up inventory space because we're running out. Um, so that's pretty much all why I've been doing that. And then there we go. We got up to current rank 19. So in order to upgrade it, we got to go all the way up to rank 29. So we have quite a ways to go yet before we can even start worrying about all the wards and all that crap. So... Yeah, so that frees up a lot of inventory space, which is good. Very good. Uh, there we go. All that is empty now. So this is all we got left. Uh, oh, see, I do have marks of potency. So when we do go up a level, um, oh, I have one. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, goody. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right, so that took up a little bit more time than I kind of wanted, but it was important to discuss. Uh, I think it was. Um, I think we needed to go over that at one point or another because I was starting to get a lot of those. So I think what we're going to do is probably do that quest I accepted. Uh, this one right here, Death and Diplomacy. We'll draw a path to it, and it said we couldn't find it. Okay. Uh, recover from the slain courier in the tower district. Okay, so we have to go to the tower district. So let's jump on our horse because it's a lot faster. And then we'll just run over here. I'm pretty sure we can get into the tower district from somewhere around here. Um, why is it bringing me here? Oh, maybe because that's that stupid guild thing. That's or maybe is that actually a, a teleport to get there? Protector's Enclave. The Garden. Oh. So it's just a fast forward. And then you go to the portal. Oh, cool. Alright. That's cool. And then we'll off to the Tower District. So we'll do this one. And then we'll call it an episode. Just because the last one... I don't want like these to drag on. And I covered a few things in this episode that I... It's going to be a mixed up title, <laughs> so I don't really know. I, I noticed a few of my last videos as well, I didn't uh, I didn't title them, so I'll probably go back and title them. I'll watch them again and I'll give them a title, so that way people know what, uh, what they're going to be watching, right? Uh, yeah, so here we go. Let's see if what we can find here. So I also uh, discovered with my capture card that I could separate the voice and the gameplay. So that's a new upgrade thing that they did with the capture card, so that's really nice. I should be able to make the uh, sound of the gameplay be lower and my voice be a little bit better and sound nicer, which is pretty good. That's what uh, all this tinkering around these last couple of videos have been. If you haven't noticed any of the sound and video quality, things have been changing. and. You know, trying to find the better, the better way for me to run this capture card and to produce nicer looking videos, right? Um, having like motion blur and stuff like that, I noticed in some of the Minecraft videos I was doing was just kind of like, wow, do I have to change that? So I think I got that down packed. Uh, within the next couple episodes anyways, I think things will be getting a lot better. Uh, for those that are curious about my schedule in Minecraft, I do Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are Minecraft. Then I'm going to make Tuesdays and Thursdays Neverwinter. And Saturday and Sunday are going to be my World of Tank videos. Now for those that uh, are younger viewers, the World of Tank videos, um, there's probably going to be swearing in there because I'm not going to control people like and you know how they talk and stuff so 
Yeah, uh, I think that's just kind of wrong. But anyways, um, if you don't like cursing and swearing, well, don't watch them. Uh, other than that, they're pretty much well for more, more, more mature people. Um, but that's fine. Um, the Minecraft and the Neverwinter are kind of set to a general public. I try not to cuss in them. I think I've been doing a pretty good job so far, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Uh, just because you never know who's going to be watching them, right? And, yeah, so other than that, that's pretty much really it. So it looks like me and this one guy were doing the exact same thing, so I don't know if that was the quest just to go search the body and call it a day, right? So, hmm, kind of strange if that's what the quest was for, and that's a daily quest. Well, it's kind of a silly one, but that's fine. It goes good if it was a quick and quick and fine and dandy because then it just kind of fits in with the time schedule of my video so like I said don't want to make these too long I uh, just want to get to the point of you know slow progression but progression you know uh, not too much horsing around and and all that good stuff so yeah so we're almost there we're almost there um, wish these horse was a little bit faster but that's fine Maybe eventually, uh, once we start playing the Astral Diamond Market thing there, we'll, we'll, we'll get ourselves a better mount. Uh, there's all kinds of videos where people show you like what to farm, where to farm, and how to get the max of your, your Astral Diamond farming. So that's, that's pretty good. Looking forward to that. That's going to be something different. I think those have to do with mainly uh, dungeon runs, though. So that's, that's pretty good. I can, I can live with that. Um, then we have a bunch of dailies later on. It's killing the dragons. You can get uh, dragon coins. We're going to be grinding those as well. So um, I'll probably do videos on fighting each different dragon and all that good stuff. And as long as there's usually a decent amount of people around, the battles go pretty quick. Um, I've been in a battle where it lasted 10 seconds against one of the big badass dragons and it was absolutely insane. There must have been, I don't know, 15, almost 20 people there and these guys were, they were pretty souped up. So it was pretty interesting to see the, the health go down. Uh, a lot of them were tanks, so that kind of helped out a lot. Uh, they they aggroed the, the dragon a lot and kept them in one spot, so it was pretty great. Uh, it was a pretty awesome battle. So let's uh, cash this thing in. Ah, oh, the satchel. Blood stained it. Perfect. Complete. Oh, do I like. Alright, complete quest. Choose. My zero items. Why won't it let me claim it? You cannot complete this uh, action with zero, more than zero items in your bag. Well, what are you talking about? I, I collected it. We may have needed such dubious. Well, more than zero items in your overflow bag. Oh, my overflow bag. Oh. Oh, 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 um, here's the overflow bag, that's it, use, uh, there's a way to get this, <laughs> uh, move, here, use, alright, perfect, there we go, uh, that's what we were looking for, alright, so, now that I figured that out. There, we completed the quest. Hello, there we go. So if you ever have any problems with your quest, there's your overflow bag. <laughs> so let me guess, did that go right back into that overflow? Oh, no, it stayed there. So what do we get here? Open reward. You have opened one this year, each gift. All right, so this is a gift. So we'll use it. And I never winter renowned. Where the hell did that go? So is that something that I cash in somewhere? It must be. It must be. Um, Alright, let's go to the 
gift place up here. Usually, usually they have gifts to give away. Well, that's fine. We can go redeem our stuff up here. And I'm not doing that guild thing just yet. See the gift redeemer thingamabobber guy is over here. So if I'm not mistaken, I should talk to this person right here. Claim. this uh, no <clears throat> but I do want that though and I'm not level 60 yet all right so it's not that one is it her maybe no not her and it probably wouldn't be over here because this is the one that you get other harpers have more pressing need for your aid yeah that's for that one so I guess not huh I wonder what that thing was for then that was kind of weird, because I don't see it here, unless this was it. No, that was the illusionist. So I'll bind that, and we'll call him... Um, he's an illusionist. We'll call him Copperfield. Oh, huh. <laughs> Alright, before you eat. There we go. Uh, Copperfield. There we go. Confirmed. So now we have an illusionist called Copperfield. So that's kind of good. Um, I just really wish I knew where that other thing went to. <laughs> what the heck was it? <laughs> Seriously. Riches didn't go in here. Special currencies. Huh. Very weird, very weird. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to look into that. So, that's it, everybody. That's all the time that we have for today. So, in the next episode, we'll continue off. We'll finish the rest of those uh, dailies, which I'm gonna do uh, right now afterwards. So, that's it. Peace. Take care, everybody. See you next time. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>